Comprehensive History with Kira. And today, we are at Fort York in Toronto, Canada. The War of 1812 was the second conflict between the United States and Great British since the Revolutionary War. The war began because the British mistreated the United States Navy men as well as restricted trade with France. It was also an attempt for the United States to expand their territory into Canada. This war and the site we're at today is exactly where the Battle of York took place. I'm currently standing at a similar viewpoint the British had as they saw American warships begin to invade Fort York. 2,700 Americans began the invasion as they took over the Battle of York. Here is a similar spot where the United States hung their flag for one week after their victory. As the Americans finally reached shore, they defeated the 750 British and Indian soldiers that defended the fort. By order of General Robert Sheaf of the British, they retreated back to Kingston. As part of their plan to retreat, they lit on fire all the gunpowder. This gunpowder led to a huge explosion in a room like this, filled with barrels of gunpowder. In this room were also Canadian prisoners, as well as American soldiers. The explosion itself killed or injured over 200 Americans. As a retaliation of the 200 casualties suffered by the Americans, the United States decided to burn the town of York, businesses, as well as government buildings. Although the victory was fairly easy, it did very little in the grand scheme of things for the war. There are two major outcomes from the Battle of York. Number one, General Sheaf's reputation would be forever be tarnished. And number two, Washington, D.C. would suffer a similar fate when the British would burn the city to ashes. 